hey, what can I serve you? We're not really in the mood for drinks. Okay, uh, well, what do you have in mind? The place looks great, but I'm feeling something a little more classy. I agree. I'm feeling something a bit more classy as well. What do you recommend? Okay, I can see you two are serious. Might I interest you in the brand new pack for Motion VFX, Emlet Classy. Perhaps Black Jade? I'm curious, what else do you have? Okay, why don't we try out monochrome gold? Perfection. However, I use DaVinci Resolve. That's okay. I'm like Classy works in DaVinci Resolve as well. Even Premiere Pro if you're into that. Oh, I'm into that. Stunning. I think we're quite happy with Mluck Classy. Have a good night. Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're showing you the brand new pack, Mluck Classy. Now, on to the tutorial. Once again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com, and today we are talking about MLUT Classy. Now, the easiest way to use MLUT Classy in Final Cut Pro is to have already installed the free MLUT plugin from MotionVFX. Once you've installed MLUT, MLUT Classy can be located over in your MLUT effects. Now, as mentioned in the intro, MLUT Classy does work in DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. You do not have to install the MLUT plugin for any of these NLEs. However, in Final Cut Pro, it does make things a little bit easier. If you are in DaVinci Resolve, you can go into your color tab. You'll be able to find under Motion VFX all of your different LUTs and you can select MLUT Classy, and then you can drag over to get a real-time preview of how those LUTs are going to look, and you can just simply double-click to apply, and now you have your LUT in DaVinci Resolve. All right, back over to Final Cut Pro. To apply MLUT Classy, you can drag MLUT by Motion VFX onto any clip that you desire, and then you'll see your MLUT plugin over in your inspector and you can click MLUT presets. You'll be presented with this floating window and you can see all of the MLUT presets installed and there you'll find Classy. MLUT Classy comes with 30 unique creative LUTs that can be applied to your footage for a really quick grade. Now keep in mind that there are various types of LUTs. Some LUTs are used to transform different color spaces. Let's say you have log footage and you want to convert that to Rec. 709. These LUTs are more designed to give you a really quick look and then you can fine tune and adjust from there. So the footage we are using was shot on a red Gemini and it has already been converted to Rec. 709. So with that in mind, with your floating window, you can quickly click and you can see in real time how these LUTs are going to be applied and affect your footage. We have a lot of really cool looks here. So let's really quickly just go through and check out what we like. I'm a fan of the rose quartz look, although it is a bit harsh so we're going to make some adjustments so let's click OK and then over in our inspector in the MLUT plugin we have our levels that are enabled so we can make adjustments now to our highlights let's say we wanted to bring the brightness up just a bit we have adjustments to our midtones if we wanted to bring those up as well or add contrast and then we have adjustments to our shadows as we continue down, we also have contrast enabled. We can enable or disable, and we can use our slider to add or decrease contrast. We have a smooth contrast toggle, and we have a luminance only toggle. Continuing down, we have our hue that we can enable. So if we want to make adjustments to our hue, you can simply click and drag up or down to adjust the hue of the footage and we have our saturation slider 
And at the bottom of MLUT, we have our enable for grain, if we would like. And obviously, we would want to bring that way down if we were going to be adding a bit of grain. We can change the type of grain if we want white noise, if we want TV static, a Gaussian film grain noise, blue noise that reduces banding, or pink noise. We can also change this to monochrome noise. And we have our grain mix. Now, as we continue down in our timeline, you can notice there's a few things that we can do. We can continue this adjustment on all of the clips here by simply clicking our first clip that has the MLUT already applied, Command C, and we can then highlight all of these and click Command Shift V. And then you can see we are going to paste our MLUT by Motion VFX over all of our clips and now all of the LUTs have been applied so we have that same look. However, there is an even easier way to do this so I'm going to click Command Z. Let's go back to our first clip. M Adjustment Layer is free from Motion VFX and this is a really great way to apply the M LUT preset. So we're going to just click Command C and then we're going to paste by Command Shift V onto our adjustment layer. And now, even if we were to disable this first clip here, as we bring our adjustment layer in over top of all of our footage, the LUT is already applied and you are good to go. So now, if you're going to make any changes to your scene, let's say that we maybe don't like this take, so we're going to bring in a secondary take that was done. You can simply click and drag in, and here we go, there's your new take, and Emla is already immediately applied. And that is it. Thank you for checking out MLUT Classy, the brand new LUT pack from Motion VFX. It is now available. Be sure to grab the MLUT plugin for free, as well as M Adjustment Layer. We can't wait to see what you do with these classy LUTs. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.